Hey everybody, I trust you're doing well and having a good morning, that you spend some time in praise and thanksgiving and you've got your heart ready and in a posture to hear what the Lord has to say to you through this morning's scripture. This week we've been in the book of 2 Timothy and we are on to the last chapter, chapter 4. As far as we know, these could have been Paul's last words to Timothy. And Paul says to Timothy, my brother, I give you this charge. No matter what, continue to preach the good news of the gospel. Be prepared in and out of season. He warns Timothy that it's not going to be easy. He's going to have to face challenges and endure hardship, but that he should keep his head through it all and continue to push on. Paul tells Timothy that he feels like the end is near for him, but he's satisfied because he's fought a good fight, he's kept his faith, and he's run a good race. And because he's done this, there's a prize like no other waiting for him at the end. And that is the crown of righteousness that the Lord Jesus himself is going to give to Paul. This morning, I want you to consider reflecting on a particularly difficult time that you have had to endure in your own life. And what was it that helped you to keep your faith and continue running the good race? I want you to grab your journal and put it in a letter form to a friend or a loved one. You don't necessarily have to share it with them. I just believe that as you do that, it's going to be a source of encouragement to you. My encouragement to you this morning is that as we continue together to endure these unusual circumstances that we find ourselves in, is the thought that that same crown of righteousness that was available to Paul and Timothy is available to us. So continue to keep your faith, continue fighting, and continue running the good race. Bless you guys. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next week.